Now this valve and the valve guide sound terrible. It's got some resistance to it. It really shouldn't have any resistance to it. But this is often a problem. It, it kind of, the valve kind of sticks. The valve, the locks in there uh, kind of stick. So what I do, the valve is actually kind of open down here on the, on the bottom. And what I like to do is just take a rubber mallet, just kind of tap on that valve to try and get it to loosen up so I can get those locks out of there. All right, so after a little bit of gentle persuasion, we were able to get those valve, this valve kind of free inside there. So I already got one of the locks out. Come in here, my needle nose, and get the second lock out. Now here's where things get kind of tricky. Down inside the little retainer is the actual valve seal. And this right here is a new one. And you can see nice rubbery, nice and pliable. That's what they're supposed to be. So I'm using, this is literally a, uh, a little crochet needle that my mom had left over. So what we need to do is get in there while the, valve, the spring is still compressed and get that old valve seal out of there. All right, I had to switch to a different tool, something a little stronger, because these valve seals are hard. Uh, they're like plastic now. So I'm gonna try and probably just have to break it off into little pieces. There we go, we're getting little chunks broken out of there. Here comes a piece right now. So that is a piece of the original valve seal and it, like I said, it's hard as plastic. So that's definitely a problem. That is probably what was causing the smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Another little chunk, oop, here comes another chunk, oop, flying out of there. Let's see if that's all of it. Yep. And I'll just take the spring. There's some more little chunks of old valve seal. And lightly pull it out from the bottom. Now one thing I want to mention, this valve actually has a little bit of a, of a, a bevel or a chamfer on the end of it. And before I started this, I ran my fingernail along the head of this valve and a lot of times what happens is these valves the tip of these valves will mushroom out and if it mushrooms out you can feel it with your fingernail and if you drag that mushroom uh, the mushroom tip of this oh that sounds funny the tip of this valve down through your valve guide you will destroy your valve guide and you will need to go to the machine shop I'm trying to do all this just a basic backyard repair without having to go to the machine shop there's the nasty little bottom of the valve and look at the valve face doesn't look that great I can see some pitting but we will uh, lap these valves and uh, see if we can improve on that we'll put them in the uh, the grinder with the wire wheel and get them cleaned up as well so let me get the intake out of there and uh, then we'll get ready we'll move on and clean this up some more